The Cotswold people are, like their country, healthy, bright, clean, and old-fashioned. And the more educated and refined a man may happen to be, the more in touch he will be with them. Not because the peasants are half-refined, but simple, honest, God-fearing folk who mind their own business and have not sought out many inventions. I'm referring now to laborers, because the farmers are a totally different class of men. The latter are, on the whole, an excellent type of what John Bull ought to be. The laboring class, however, still maintain the old characteristics. A primitive people, as often as not, they are nature's gentlemen. The village people retire early, and the farmers before the workfolk, as a rule. A great many of the farmers retire at eight, and even by seven in the winter, after partaking of a good supper of bread and cheese and hotted beer or cider. Wives, daughters and all. Before retiring, the farmer usually takes a lantern and walks round the cattle yard and stables to see that everything is safe and well. Very often the farm labourers are much later in going to bed, burning the oil till eleven and after, but this is a bad sign. In the villages farther from the town, they retire much earlier. The, the villagers' food, especially that of the labouring class, is plain and simple in kind, but plentiful enough. The chief article consumed is bread, and abundant potatoes. Where there is a large family of six or eight, the household requires eight or nine gallons of bread a week or more, and then the wife and mother cooks potatoes for dinner and tea as well. The chief trimmings are bacon and cheese, butter, lard or dripping. The children eat bread and lard with pepper upon it. Bacon pudding is a tasty meal, though waning in favour. The old carter may have a fried rasher without the egg for breakfast, or fried vegetables or toasted cheese. Fresh meat is only indulged in once a week, Sundays. That is generally purchased from the van which comes round every Saturday, breast or loin of mutton or brisket of beef, and is mostly foreign, though some country labourers will not touch the foreign tackle and a bore or tinned goods. At Christmas, all the labourers receive a large piece of prime beef from eight to twelve pounds and very many a ton of coal at Michaelmas besides a sum of money. Their drink consists chiefly of tea, very weak. This they have three and very often four times a day and many keep a small barrel of ale in the house too or else fetch it from the inn. The Cotswold women obtain employment in the fields at certain seasons of the year. Though poorly paid, they are usually more conscientious and hard-working than the men. Most of their cottages are kept scrupulously clean. They have an air of homely comfort which calls forth the admiration of all strangers.